Today we're going to talk about steel outdoor power equipment winter mode. What is it? What does it do for you? What doesn't it do for you? And how to set it. So steel tells us in the manuals that we should put these machines in winter mode anytime we're operating around freezing or obviously below the freezing point. What we're doing is changing a little block off in the intake system to allow some air from around the engine that's preheated uh, up into the intake system. And really this is to raise the temperature of the air going through the carburetor above freezing. Water can accumulate in the carburetor and of course if the temperature of the air in there is below freezing it will freeze and the engine will stop running or run very poorly. So we're trying to prevent that situation. So winter mode is really to prevent the carburetor from freezing during operation. This is especially important on chainsaws as you're often operating uh, near the ground, near the snow level and cold conditions. We've got plenty of snow out here. If you're bucking up your tree, um, it's easy for that snow to get in the intake system, uh, melted by the exhaust, things like that, put into the air and get into your uh, carburetor where it can accumulate and freeze and you'll have issues if that occurs. What winter mode is not, it does not help you with cold starting one bit. There's no benefit. So if you're having a starting problem and you think I'm going to fix it by going to winter mode, it's not going to help. Let's start by putting our Steel BR800 here into winter mode. So I've got the tool that comes with this backpack blower. It has a Torx on the end here which fits all of the different screws around here and we're gonna take off <coughs> we're gonna take off this panel to expose our intake system and air filter so we take that panel off these screws are captured so they can't fall out any that's very nice here's our air filter nice and clean we don't need to service that now with that exposed, we can see this white block off plate here, and we can simply slide that over to put this machine in winter mode. By sliding it over into winter mode, we expose this port. This port allows hot air from the engine to come into the intake system and go to the carburetor to keep that above freezing. So all we have to do is slide that over, and we're ready to put this beast back together, tighten up your screws and you're good to go. Now we'll move on to a chainsaw. This is a steel MS362 and I'm going to use the tool that came with this saw and pop off this engine cover. And you can see we can, we've got the air filter, the carburetors right here. Obviously our engine is over on this side and we can find our winter mode block off plate here. So this one's a little bit different. Um, you can see there's a tab on top. This tab is currently lined up with the sun. So all we have to do is pop this out of place, flip this over, slide it back down. You can see the tab is now lined up with the snowflake and again we've got a pass through to the engine to preheat the air into this chamber to prevent our carburetor from freezing up. We've got our block off plate moved. All we have to do to get back running is to reassemble our saw. Thanks for watching. Adios.